comments there. Uh, I'll just point out a couple of things in response to one or two of the points made. Um, it was very clear that throughout the, the period since you could have been in control here in, in Thanet that we have twin track that site, knowing that at some stage uh, we had intended to take both of those tracks to the planning inspector, but we actually did uh, consult with the barrister and I provided the details of that on request uh, after scrutiny to uh, one of the campaign groups who made it very clear that we would not be allowed to take to the planning inspector in the final plan a choice on that number one main site and that we had therefore to find some evidence one way or the other demonstrating which of those twin tracks we're going to work with and both those twin tracks will work through the uh, cabinet advisory group throughout its life since May 2015. Um, the only evidence that is standing is that of the AV report. Uh, I've said on, on, on other occasions that if people are uncomfortable with that evidence, then it is beholden upon them to go to the people who claim that they want to put an airport in place and get some evidence out of them. And evidence, I'm afraid, is rather more than what you discuss with friends at a barbecue. Evidence is really something that you have to put on paper that has been consciously avoided and consciously evaded well, by the standing applicant that we inherited in May 2015 earlier. throughout their time. And uh, as such, uh, we now have somebody who is talking blithely about three or four hundred million pound investments who couldn't prove a year ago that they had a letter of credit for 20 million pounds. So as such, the evidence that we do have <coughs> points in one particular direction. And as such, we have to present that evidence as it stands to the planning inspector. If between now and June, at the pre-submission stage, further evidence does come forward and there is clear evidence of viability of the airport, then we will obviously take that into account and that twin track can, and if needs must, could be changed. But it is wholly dependent on somebody actually demonstrating that they have a clear and genuine and workable case to do what it is they wanted to do. And I will pursue, and we will all pursue with the uh, assistance of uh, members of the Chambers of Commerce and any other intermediaries we need to actually use, uh, all potential uses for that airport as an airport. And we'll do that between now and the consultation period as avidly as we have tried to do so before. As such, I think we have to present according to the rules the government has given us. We have to present according to the rules of evidence the government plays to. And uh, whilst I appreciate it must be uncomfortable to be sat down here in a conservative hat promoting the airport which your government doesn't support then I do think we have to actually take a rather more neutrally independent view in the interests of all of the residents of Thana not just those who are interested in the airport and that's the dilemma we're all in we could all individually and personally be really enthusiastic about an airport where there is no evidence to present the case for it we have to serve the residents of all of this island not just those who are particularly keen on an airport. And if we do have to find sites for another 2,500 houses, then I'd have to say to, to Councillor Brim and our colleagues in North Thanet that the other sites that came forward in our last call all came from the Birchton and Westgate area. We have protected those areas from those new sites. And if we are to take those houses out of where they are uh, on the Manson Airport site, they will have to go somewhere. And that somewhere looked increasingly like with Birchton and Westgate. And that will cause as much fallout as much of those debates about the airport itself. Cabinet, are we prepared to move this local plan as it stands forward for public consultation? That is the only decision we're making tonight that should go for an eight-week public consultation commencing in January. We all agree. Thank you. That concludes the business of this evening's Cabinet meeting. Thank you for your attendance. Did you hear what I said?